Hey guys, how you doing? What's up? It's me, Mr. Fork Upscaler. Uh, what I'm doing here, basically, it's just trying to uh, do my best to show you the effect of HDR. Even though I have my camera really close to the TV, you still won't be able to see exactly what I'm seeing. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to commentate and I will walk you through it as to the effect of HDR. Now, the HDR works the best when there's a lot of light and dark. When there's a lot of contrast of light and dark, basically. Because the dark and the bright, they give you that depth of field of dynamic range. In this case, HDR. Like, for example, here, you see where this lamp is? this light look how much of HDR you getting there the reflection of HDR just right here from this lamp and look now when I when I stop when I move on, on on the left side and you can see that HDR now it's it's basically reacting as it would in the real life the reflection of the light would react as it would naturally in a real life. So that's the whole point really of HDR is to give you that natural look to it. And this game renders that HDR perfectly, perfectly. And it really does. Okay. You can even see uh, the particles dropping down I don't know if I can move my low light here. Hold on. You can even see the particles moving down on top of her uh, head. And hey, let, let's even do it like this. And you will see, even like right here, you will see just how much HDR really helps a game like this, for example. Okay, so let's go switch to another uh, scene sequence here. Uh, let's examine it. And here's another great example of HDR. Just look at her and then look at the, uh, the light, the lamp on the top right here, top left. And then look at the, uh, all the sparkle that's just popping out from the bullets. And... Uh, that's just one aspect of it, of HDR right here. You know, sometimes when you're playing such a fast-moving, fast-paced action game like this, you don't even realize how much HDR helps here. And it helps in a big way. And even here you can see when they're talking uh, on the ship, little tiny boat. I'm sorry, a boat. Uh, you can see the sunset reflecting through the uh, cabin inside the boat. And the HDR truly here represents that perfectly. That's the whole idea of HDR is to represent both contrast and color and light and dark in its natural form. And uh, that's the whole ideal of HDR. pretty much and look at here for example here's another great example right here just look at how look at the depth of field like uh, I paused the game here purposely just to kind of show you that but just look at that depth of field. Like, look, everything it's overshadowed naturally. And um, this is why I think the Uncharted, especially the Lost Legacy, really gives that. I think they did a better job. Honestly, um, I have both Uncharted 4 
and this game. And I can tell you that they did a little bit better, but better job. They did a better job on the Lost Legacy. I honestly believe that they put more effort on rendering this HDR a little bit better. Uh, regardless of what Digital Foundry says, honestly, I personally believe, and I've seen a lot of HDR, I gotta tell you that uh, they did a better job on The Lost Legacy than they did on the uh, Uncharted 4. That's what I think, uh, in terms of HDR. It's just my opinion, you know. But again, you know, also it's very important to have a proper calibration to fully take the advantage of the HDR content. You know, you want to make sure you have that good calibrating picture settings. And uh, I left 62 color for a couple of reasons because I know that this content, I knew that this game is going to have a lot of uh, nature in it. A lot of dynamic light, so I felt 63 was a good. Uh, I felt the 63 was a good amount of percentage of color, and uh, it looks great. Honestly, it looks really good. Even if I zoom out of the TV here, you still you will see just how beautiful that looks. You know. The only reason I zoomed in on the TV is just to kind of give you a more idea of HDR. And you can clearly see it here as well. It just looks fantastic. And it really does. And I'm pretty sure they did a better job here instead of Uncharted 4. Uh, they probably, with this game, they had more time with PlayStation 4 Pro. So that way they, they were able to render HDR a little bit better. With Uncharted 4, I don't think they were familiar with PlayStation 4 Pro that much in order for them to render the HDR. But now since they have spent a lot of time with PlayStation 4 Pro most likely the Naughty Dog was able to uh, learn more about HDR and how to implement it into this uh, engine that they're using that that's that's my honest opinion that that's what I honestly believe uh, took place here And it really shines. Just look, just look at this, man. Look how naturally that light. Look at that light. How naturally reflects, as it should. That's how. That's the whole point of HDR. To give you that natural feel. As if like you are really there. And, you know, this is all in-game engine. You can see the car in the distance and everything. It really looks good. And here's also a great example. Just look how naturally the light shines on top of her hair. And then look at the, the light uh, peeking through those uh, leaves right here. Or whatever you want to call them. These plants. These rainforest plants. Uh, and it's just... I think by far this is the best HDR I have seen on PlayStation 4 Pro thus far. Uh, way better than Final Fantasy. Uh, they, the Naughty Dog, I think they are truly getting to understand how to render and implement that HDR into their games. And I can only imagine The Last of Us uh, Chapter 2 definitely is going to most likely be one of the best HDR games out there. 4K HDR games in my opinion. And then look at this right here. Look at the grass. Look at her jeans. And the reflection on her jeans. The arms sweating because it's humid. The overshadowing. This is HDR at its best right here. 
and that's what you're looking at, people. There's a lot of HDR games out there, but this one right here definitely represents that HDR the way it should be. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn is great. I like it. But uh, still, to me, Naughty Dog, uh, it's just the way they render this HDR. What I'm trying to say is this. The way they render this HDR, it's, be, it's very natural. And that's the whole purpose of HDR. I know I said this like thousands of times, but that's the whole purpose of high dynamic range. It's to give you a natural uh, window into another world. And that's what you're getting here. You're getting a digital, natural world that reacts as if it would in a real world. I mean, everything here reacts naturally actually we can do a test here there's a test we can do hold on uh, with with a sun angle you can actually change the sun angle you see how am I changing the sun angle so that way the sun it's moving see now it's darker see uh, we can we can do that right here we can actually uh, mess around with that look look for example right here Look at that. Hold on, let's uh let's go let's let's do it like this. I I'll, I'll leave it like this. And then I'm going to go to a uh Hold on. Sun angle. Just look at that. It's see, it's how naturally it's reading it perfectly. Naturally, it's reading it right there. Just look at that. And the reason I do these videos like this, because I haven't seen anybody out there dissect and go into depth of detail the way I do. I mean, I can stand in front of the camera and I can throw some technical jogger and talk about this, talk about that, talk about Rec 709, Rec 2020, dynamic uh, metadata versus static metadata. I can go on and on and on. You know, and I'm going to put you to sleep. Okay. I prefer to show you visually in basic terms, in layman terms, all of what the purpose is of HDR. Why does HDR exist to begin with? And why is that certain content looks better in HDR than the other? You know, not everything's going to look in HDR. For example, Blade Runner is going to look fantastic. Uh, a couple of movies that are coming out. Close Encounters of the Third Kind and Blade Runner will look fantastic in HDR because they have a lot of night and the whole movie is shot in dark and then with the bright LED lights uh, in the city, so we'll have plenty of that contrast of of LED lights and dark and bright. Uh, same thing with the uh, close encounters of the third kind. Those ships with, with those different types of shapes of light will definitely represent that HDR the way it should be. It's the same thing here. Okay, same thing here. All right, so let's. Uh, Let's continue. And here's another great example right here. Look when I pan and scan uh, above her. Look how naturally the light reflects. And that's what you want. And even right here. Look at that dust. Look at the, the sun reflect through the, uh, the rainforest down into that pit naturally and here's a, another good one right here
just to show you see how the sun is moving reflecting same thing here that's HDR at its best right there guys just look at right here uh, let me get my low light a little bit lower just look at look right there in the distance look how naturally that light is reflecting as it should And here's another good example. Just look with, look at my finger and keep an eye on that cliff over here. And that stone cliff, the big one, on the left side. And look at the reflection of the sun, how naturally it's going to react. Look at that. See that? That's, that's HDR doing its job. That's, uh, that's what it's about. pretty much and then right here you can see also as well uh, the whole purpose of HDR and what it does and what it does well it's really reflecting that light and overshadowing it naturally as it should and it really does you can clearly see that here on this uh, on this camera it's clearly present here here let's uh, use the uh, sun angle and you will see you will see exactly what I'm talking about here you see how naturally now the light it's it's reflecting And of course, here too, just look at that mud and look how detailed that mud is. So this is what really HDR is about, guys. It's not about having that brightness where you are crushing the detail. When they talk about peak brightness nits, what they're talking about is they want you to see every detail. The higher peak nits means they want you to see every little tiny detail with HDR. Whether you're looking at the, you know, the grass or you're looking at the mud, whatever it is that you're looking at, it has to be naturally detailed. Whether it's the, the shadows, the dark areas, the bright areas, everything has to equally be detailed. And now the higher nits, peak brightness you have, the, the higher detail you're going to have here. Okay, so that's, that's the whole purpose, really, of HDR, is to have that. You know, let me uh, get my camera a little bit here. Let's do it like this. Let me uh, move around a bit so you guys can see a little bit better. And look, even here you can see. Look, look, look at that shadow. Look, look, uh, Nadine, and look how her shadow—it's overshadowing the sunlight that's beaming onto the the hood of the car of this Jeep. That's HDR. That's what HDR does. It naturally represents that. You see, now it disappears. Now it comes back. Now it disappears. Now it comes back. That's a naturally represented high dynamic range. So, hopefully this video will kind of give you an idea what you have to look for in HDR. How do you grade HDR on a certain games?
And this is how I grade HDR. I, I grade HDR based on its environment. This game has perfect elements, perfect environments to take full advantage of HDR. You know, and that's what it does. It does, and it does that well. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this video. Hopefully this video was resourceful and helpful in some ways. Uh, I'm just trying to kind of like give you guys an idea. I'm pretty sure that you guys know how HDR works and what you have to look for HDR. Now imagine in the future with 8,000, 10,000 nits of Dolby Vision with 12-bit and 8K. I mean, it's just going to be unbelievable. The kind of detail. Uh, 10 years from now, the way the game's going to look, the way the, the television set's going to look, it's just going to be uh, beyond, beyond uh, breathtaking. All right, well, there you have it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. I am working on the uh, Yakuza uh, Kiwami uh, video game as well. I'm working on that. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a good one. Take care.